Hi, my name is Peach. let me not waste your time. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my blurs in DaVinci Resolve. In order to recreate the blurs I will be using in this video, you will need to download the free plugin for DaVinci Resolve, which is Reactor. Reactor is a script that houses a database of effects made by other people that you can download and use in your own projects. In order for you to download it, I will link the site at the top of the description, where you will scroll down to this button and download the script. Once you have downloaded this file, you'll go back to Resolve and go into any Fusion page, where you will take this file, go back to your Resolve, and drag it in to the Fusion page. Here you will go through the installation process and launch the program. I already have it, so I'm not gonna go through this process, but just follow the prompt and it should be really easy. Once that is done, if a pop-up window does not already open, you can access the plugin panel by going to Workspace, Scripts, Reactor, and Open Reactor. Once this panel is popped up here, you can see all the effects, but the one we're gonna be focusing on today is the Defocus Gamma. Just type that into the search bar and check the box next to the name. A prompt may come up if you would like to donate to the creator of the effect, but that is not needed, so you can click the right prompt in order to start the installation of the effect. Once that is done, you may need to restart Resolve in order to access the effect, but it should be installed into your effects library. Once that is done, assuming that you have your scales done just like that, then you will go and grab an adjustment clip and put it above your clip. And I will do it about 8 frames, just like that. And then we're going to go into the fusion page once we're in the fusion page since now we have defocus gamma downloaded you can hit shift space type that in defocus you can see that's the second one right there click it add it to your timeline connect it to your node graph right here and then we're going to do there's many different ways you can keyframe it but for this clip i'm going to keyframe, keyframe it this way so at the start of the clip you're going to hit, click the defocus size keyframe right there i'm going to hit the pentagon shape for the lens type and i'm going to hit the image gamma right here and it's going to bring this value up to 10 and put this image gamma up to 6. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip, keyframe it at the defocus size again, put it to 0, and then put the image, click keyframe the image gamma and put it to 1. Now you have something like this. And now we could open up the spline graph. So click the spline up here and check off these boxes or you and hit zoom to fit right there. I like the boxes right here, hit S. I'm gonna do a little soft ease out, ease in curve. I forget which one. Just like that. And then you have your blur just like that. And you could apply it to all your clips like this. Sometimes if you have an ocean tile like this, you would want the blur to happen before you switch to the next clip. So what I would do is instead of having it start at such a high value, we're gonna move this over by two frames. Open the fusion page. And we could open these keyframes up again on the spline page and just zoom out and we can move it over by two frames because this is where the middle is like that go back to the beginning and then keyframe here and let's just go down to like about two and then we can go down here to one so just like that you have a little build up to the most blurry part and then a release another thing that i do often with my blurs is that i actually add an exposure flash so we can just add this up here an adjustment clip this is about 12 frames which is fine i can shorten it to 10. we can go into the fusion page in this composition we're going to add a brightness and contrast then so shift space brightness and contrast just like that and we're going to keyframe the gain from 1.2 and then go to the end of the clip and then we're going to go to one something like that a nice little flash and we can put it on top of all of our clips so it gives a little bit more impact. If any more questions or suggestions on what I should do in the future, please let me know down in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMB Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.